my bills. The only man who's ever footed my bills completely is my daddy. Hey everyone, welcome to Shimmer Girl Talks. Today's topic, why the boss chick independent boss babe is a lie. And I'm going to start first with Fanny Willis. So I'm going to let you listen to the video first. And it, uh, as he told me one time, the only thing a woman can do for him is make him a sandwich. We would have brutal arguments about the fact that I am your equal. I don't need anything from a man. A man is not a plan. A man is a companion. I don't need anybody to foot my bills. The only man who's ever foot my bills completely is my daddy. In that clip, she said that her lover alleged said that the only thing a woman can do for him is make him a sandwich. And we all know that that's not the truth, because obviously it's something else that a woman could do for him is drop her drawers, which is what Fanny Lewis. I'm sorry, Fanny Willis did. Allegedly something else. She said that the only man that's ever funded her financially was her dad. So a lot of these women talk about how they don't need a man financially and this, that, and the other. But if you notice, a lot of them are funded by either their father or some dope that they found to give her money for services rendered, if you know what I mean. Tiffany Henyard is another who is under scrutiny right now due to mishandling of tax taxpayers money and the joke of all jokes is former mayor Chicago mayor Lori Lightfoot being in charge of her investigating the money that Tiffany Henyard has spent but see here's the embarrassing thing these women get on on their high horse talking about how they're um grown, independent boss babes. But you notice a lot of times they're always boss babes at the expense of someone else's money. Mayor of Dalton and supervisor of Thornton Township, two elected positions that earned her more than $287,000 in 2022. But here's what happens when you ask her about how she spends taxpayer money. I do not handle anything as it relates to with credit cards. As you heard me speak today in my board meeting about, I do not handle that. Some of those charges are for you, though. No, sir. You didn't go to Las Vegas? Mm. What, what is that? No comment. You don't know if you were in Las Vegas? Of course I do. Were you? It's not paid by them. Did you fly first class to Las Vegas? Any other questions? Paradise Williams is another woman who used someone else's money money to fund her lifestyle. No one is upset that black women want to level up and be boss babes and all of that stuff. But I'm just pointing out the hypocrisy of a lot of them using other people's money to live the so-called lifestyle that they stunt with on social media. So Paris Williams, um, she was living in Kent at the time when she started defrauding all of the different government pandemic assistance programs throughout the pandemic, um, including um, programs that are supposed to help small businesses like the Paycheck Protection Program, the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program. Um, she also filed fraudulent claims for unemployment. And then later in the pandemic, um, she defrauded the Emergency Rental Assistance Program of over $2.8 million. And that um, $2.8 million is the largest amount to date that we know of that's been stolen from the Emergency Rental Assistance Program. It's a lot of money. It is a lot so of money. So what was she apparently using that money for? Um, she, based on the evidence we, we gathered, she used it not for rental, uh, her own rent necessarily, yeah. um, but she used it for expensive cars, um, designer goods. Um, she took luxury trips around the world to places like Dubai. Um, and she also um, used it, and she did use it on rent, but it was on luxury apartment complexes in Arizona that had things like resort-like living and things like that. 
Is there any other, you know, restitution, any other actions that maybe she or some of the other co-defendants have, have had? So she and the co-defendants are and her co-defendants who have pled guilty have all been ordered to pay restitution. Okay. She's responsible for the entire amount of 3.3, approximately 3.3 million dollars. Um, Finally, you see these young ladies. I got this off of World Star Hip Hop. They all ran out on a bill, but one of them either left their car keys or their phone, and they had to come back. Now, we can say that these are individuals, but unfortunately, we as a race of people, we are all lumped together as the same, which is disheartening. These women don't represent me, and I don't think they represent most black people. But this is the narrative that a lot of people want to paint us as being. You have people who require black people to pay up front when entering a restaurant. Those have been in the news lately. So that was my topic for today. I just wanted to talk about the hypocrisy of the whole boss babe movement and its fallacies. And I will talk to you later. Bye.